So, hello guys, I know it's been a while, but today we have something, something special. Uh, Infinity just presented at the Paris Motor Show the new variable compression turbocharged uh, engine or VCT, which is uh, actually one of a kind. Now, this new engine will be a 2.0 liter turbo uh, gasoline engine and it can deliver the performance you need and also at the same time can be efficient by modifying the compression, the compression ratio uh, this was impossible until now because you either had a performance engine or you had a more efficient one the smart thing is that this engine can raise and lower uh, the height of the piston reach making this engine the most advanced internal combustion engine ever created. Uh, the engine compression ratio can vary between 8.1 for a high performance, uh, high performance engine and 14 to 1 for high efficiency. All this is done automatically depending on, on the driving situation. So let's get to the business. So everything, everything is normal uh, until you get to the, to, to, to the crankshaft, the piston is the same, connecting rod, and so on. Uh, the, crankshank, the crankshaft will have uh, a multi-link connection, uh, connecting these two sections of, of the system. The piston and the, and the connecting rod, and this new one. It's good to know that this rectangular piece will move at the same time with the crankshaft and will maintain the same position because this one is used to lower and uh, well to change the position of, of, of the piston you imagine that this is the center of the crankshaft with this part and all will move in the same direction this will be changed by uh, by the system so to modify the position of this rectangular piece because I told you before that it will have the same position when it's moving around with the crankshaft. So to move this position to lower or to raise the, the piston, you need this harmonic drive uh, that will rotate uh, controlling the actuator arm, making this uh, control shaft to lower or to raise this lower arm or lower link so if this harmonic drive moves to the left this means that this uh, control shaft will go down in this position making this uh, lower link to go up and that will make uh, a lower position for the piston because it will be like that so this rectangular piece will go down making this uh, this piston to go down and of course if you uh, if this harmonic drive will uh, will move to the to the right this means that the control shaft the arm of the control shaft will go up and this lower link will go down making this uh, making the position of the piston to go up so this is how basically everything's, uh, everything works. So it's not complicated. Uh, if you move, as I said, if you move this harmonic drive to the left, this will, uh, will make it, will lower the height of the, of the piston, which will decrease the compression ratio. And if you move it to the, to the, to the right, this will uh, raise the position of the of the piston like this one and will produce a higher compression ratio so why do we need all this first you can remove the co a, a compromise you will have a performant engine and an efficient engine at the same time uh, having a lower compression ratio uh, will give you uh, a higher boost and power and will prevent engine knock, which is quite important. Uh, and at the same time, having a higher compression ratio will give you a better thermal efficiency of the engine, which which means uh, which can mean a lower fuel uh, fuel consumption. 
but don't imagine that this engine will be the most performant engine or the most efficient on the market because it will not be it will be it will just give you this option to choose between performance and efficiency which is unique uh, un unique until now so if you have questions leave them below hit the like button if you enjoyed it and see you next time bye